Hey everyone, Pat from Aeroflow Performance, and today I'm going to introduce you to the boosted range of turbo exhaust manifolds. Okay, so as we all know, one of the logical steps when, you're, uh, when you've got an engine that's already turbocharged, it might have a low mount turbo, uh, or you've got an engine that's not turbocharged and you're gonna go for some decent power, stepping across to a external, externally gated high mount exhaust manifold for your turbocharger is really the next step. So this allows you to run a larger turbo than perhaps what the factory manifold would have, or it'll give you um, the spacing and the positioning uh, and the flow requirement uh, through the manifold from your engine that is equally modified to support a larger turbocharger. So if you're, you're chasing a big number, if you're chasing uh, something that's maybe a little bit more efficient for the, the stroke and the capacity of your motor, um, or you know, you're going drag racing, so you want that larger turbocharger to give you that big top end power, high mount uh, external manifold is exactly what you need. So we've got a few different options here. Um, I'll go through the basics uh, on these, and then uh, we'll go through some of the individual models uh, and the variations that are available within those models. So to start with on all of the manifolds, we begin with the merge collector. Now on a six cylinder T4, we've got a cast merge collector, uh, which is one piece. We'll show some close ups of those. This provides a really high level of uh, precision and flow uh, for those six cylinder manifolds. We're gonna introduce those into some of the V-band and possibly the T3 range as we get down the track. But for now, we've got the six cylinder T4s as a one piece cast merge collector. And then the others, so the V-band, the four cylinders uh, and the six cylinder V-band merge collectors are a fabricated item, which still maintain the same sort of flow. Uh, however, it's just a little bit more um, time consuming as far as the manufacturing processes are concerned. So we start off with those merge collectors uh, and then we build the steam pipe uh, runners for the manifold. This is all three millimeter steam pipe. They're mandrel bent uh, in, the, uh, in the bends here and then welded together. Then we have the flange, uh, which is a 10 mil flange. Uh, on most of the applications, the Evo is a little bit smaller because we've got a clearance issue, so we've gone to that slightly smaller flange on this one. Uh, that is all welded together, and then once the manifold is completely welded, we've we've machined the flange down, uh, so we've milled the flange, so you've got a nice flat surface uh, for mating, so that your gasket stays sealed uh, and stays in place for longer. As you can see, there's also external wastegate provision, uh, depending on the design of the manifold, depending on the clearance that's available within the engine bay. Um, so they'll be placed to suit, uh, for example, on this uh, RB one here, you're looking at uh, 50 mil gates, uh, the barrel one is a 60 here, um, which will suit our wastegates, our external wastegates, so 44 millimeter or 60 millimeter wastegate, uh, or even the 38, depending on which, uh, which is appropriate for your application. So there's a few different, uh, few different models here on display, as you can see. This one that I'm holding right in front of me is 4G63. So uh, for example, Evo 4 to 9, um, which will basically mount a G30 or G35 V-band. Uh, this is also available with a T3 uh, flange on it. So plenty of options in T3 and then V-band uh, that will go up to, say the V-band will suit from a uh, G25 or a boosted 48, 49 all the way through to uh, a boosted 68, 62, uh, which um, could also suit a G35, 1050. 
So plenty of options within that to suit many different applications, uh, whether it's circuit, street or drag racing. So that's there. We also have this nice little uh, compact dump pipe uh, that's designed to match our V-band exit on the turbochargers for the Evos. So it tucks the, uh, tucks the exhaust down nice and tight in a very compact engine bay. So that's the Evo one. Uh, here we've got Barra, which you can see has the V-band on it. That's also available with T4. Uh, then we've got RB30, which is T3 and V-band. Um, so this is the V-band. Uh, we've also got SR20 here with a V-band, also available with T3. And then there's 2J, which is also T4 and V-band. So both of those will be available uh, off the website. As you can see, all of these manifolds, are, they're black, they're not raw. So we have coated them with a high temp enamel uh, paint. Now it's not ceramic coating, it is a high temperature paint, but if you want to minimise the amount of uh, heat uh, in the engine bay, uh, you know, protect other components in your engine bay, we do recommend either heat wrapping, uh, which we can also supply, or ceramic coating these manifolds for uh, a very high temp um, high temp protection uh, and also there can be some performance gains in the ceramic coated uh, unit with gas temperature and flow and things like that but uh, we do recommend either of those ceramic coating or heat wrapping. Um, we have a few here as of uh, as I've mentioned there's a few different models so your big guys the RB 2J Barra SR 24G that's all there we will be introducing more models in the near future um, this will progress we'll be doing more and more so you can keep your eyes out uh, on social media and the website uh, to see when those are released but aside from that now you know all about the boosted turbocharger manifolds you can check them out at your local distributor quality retail outlet or jump online at aeroflowperformance.com